to slip out of his hand if it would have fell in the bushes because he could reach in the bushes but the ox fell over in the lake have you ever seen something get so bad that you couldn't get yourself out of it it, it, it hit the water and maybe he could have reached it but then the ox went down and it went all the way down and the, and the marriage went down and the, and the, and the ministry while I was preaching it was going it was going down and I couldn't I couldn't fix it right in the middle of my building project things went down I, I started my company, I done my advertising, I got my business card, and right in the middle of my business, things, things went down. I lost the contract I needed. The sales deal didn't come through, and things went down. My trustees left, and the things went down. My partners betrayed me. Things went down. My helpmate left me. And, and things went down. My enemy stole my idea. And my little invention went down. And now I was standing there on borrowed time with borrowed stuff with somebody else's money and, and things went down and it looked like I wasn't honest but but my act slipped Paul have you ever had your act slip and, and everything went down and you can almost hear the anguish in this nameless prophet's voice alas master my ax was borrowed and it went down. And everybody else is still chopping. Everybody else is still building. Everybody else is still going on as if everything was all right. But the one chance I had of being who I dreamed to be, or birthing what I dreamed to birth, or having what I was called to have, just slipped out of my hands and things went down I don't know what I'm going to do that's why God's got you watching this message tonight because the Lord was standing alongside you when things started slipping and he saw your tears and heard your cry as you watch the axe go down and your credit has gone down and for somebody your name has gone down <laughs> now people are questioning your integrity when your axe was up everybody was with you but when your axe go down <laughs> when your axe go down everybody will run off and leave you Everybody but the Lord. And the Lord was standing there through Elijah. And he said to the man, don't give up. I'm the God of the turnaround. And if you just trust me, I'm going to take this mess and turn it around to a miracle. <laughs> to take this test and turn it around to a testimony well well now Lord if I'm going to reap an axe nature teaches that I have to sow an axe mm, that's natural that'll work for anybody but God said what I'm getting ready to do for you is not natural I'm going to show you the supernatural 
Watch this, y'all. Watch this, y'all. Y'all, y'all got to get this. God said, I don't need anything that you lost to bless you. I don't need anything that you lost to bless you. God will always use whatever you got left. The, the, the blessing isn't in what you lost. The blessing is in what you got left. And if you will sow what you got left, God said, I'll give you back whatever it was. Oh, my God. Slap somebody and tell him he's getting ready to come back. Everything you lost, everything you lost, everything that got away from you, everything that slipped away, God said, I'm getting ready to give it back to you. And so what the prophet did, my God, the prophet, he reached over and he said, let me show you the supernatural. The natural is when you sow tomatoes, you reap tomatoes. When you sow onions, you reap onions. If you sow peaches, you reap peaches. That's natural. That'll work for anybody. You don't even have to have faith to do that. But the supernatural is when you can throw in a stick. money because that's just natural if you pick up the phone and sow money you don't even need an anointing if you sow money you're gonna reap money but I want to talk to some people who need to reap something that money cannot buy and the kind of trouble you're in money can't get you out of it but if you throw in what you do have to give you what you don't have what the man did he he threw in a stick you say I need restoration in my marriage I, I'm, I'm gonna sow this seed I'm not worried about no financial return but 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 hook this hook this family problem up fix it fix it turn somebody say turn it around uh, 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 my, my job is kind of shaky and I, I need a breakthrough tonight and, and I'm going to sow because I need God to turn it around. And somebody said, turn it around. And, and so what Elijah did, he, he reached back and he, and he got a stick and he threw the stick over in the water. The, the axe had gone so far down in the water that the waters were still until he threw in the stick. You've been in trouble so long. Nothing is moving and it looks like it's not going anywhere. But I dare you to obey God tonight because God's getting ready to trouble the waters in your life. Touch your neighbor and say, I feel movement coming. In, in that area where there's been no activity for months and months and months in your life, God said, I'm going to give you some movement. You need to move so God can move. God said he would move if you would move. I got to stop and pray for somebody right now. You're believing God for that and all you have is of this. I want to agree with you in prayer right now in the name of Jesus. As you pick up the phone tonight, there's some things you need God to do that money wouldn't even pay for. But I believe God with you that as you sow tonight, you're going to sow this and you're going to reap that. Give them a supernatural miracle tonight in the name of Jesus. You feel like your fate is in the hands of your enemies, but God said he's going to turn the heart of your enemy around. He can twist it in his hand. You sow this and God is going to do that. Do it right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. Move while the anointing is moving. If all the lines are jammed, just wait. Don't let the devil defeat you. Just wait till you can get a line because you know this word is for you. Don't stop till you get through. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop till you get through because God's getting ready to turn it around. He's getting ready to turn it around. He's getting ready to turn it around. Somebody take your hand and do it like this. You do it like this. And when you're when you doing it, just holler, turn it around! Mama, you've been praying for your child. Go in that bedroom right now. Stand right over his bed and just say, turn it around!